project topic is uh, syringe pump for injecting and refilling fluid. And so you can see this is the setup of my uh, pump. This is a uh, syringe. So this is a drug board and the uh, step um, mold driver. So um, motivation of this project is when we run experiments. We run experiments. We have a sample there, and we want to measure the probability evolution, um, especially like fluid rock interaction. In that case, we need long-term fluid injection, like keeping the injection for maybe a couple of days. So uh, in that case, we need uh, a lot of fluid. We need the pump to keep in constant pressure or constant flow rate. So uh, we need the pump to refill it itself. So that these two pumps can alternatively inject fluid. And however, we, we only have one pump in the lab and uh, we have to be there to watch everything and to refill it manually. So to solve this problem, I uh, proposed a uh, prototype and uh, so the lab one. So you see this figure, we, uh, I just want to uh, kind of map everything in the lab to our kind of uh, prototype setup. So this is pump one, this is pump two, and ideally we should have two of them, and we should have the sensor pressure pressure valve to uh, to control uh, when we each one is being used. However, uh, we don't have. Uh, enough budget for, for everything. And then I simplified the uh, realistic problem to a simple one. But uh, this one, I think, uh, show already shows everything uh, for reaching uh, the goal of this graph. So there are two reservoirs, A and B, which is A and B, and we want move the water from this reservoir to the other, and we will use the syringe pump to pump fluid cyclically to um, trans transport the water. So, so this is a simplification from realistic one to uh, simplified one. And we will use the right side. So um, there are three, this is a three-step method, and first one is connect necessary pumping hardware, and then we assemble everything, and the last one is to code and control the system. So these are, these are the components for the setup. We have a step motor, and syringe, and one-way valves. So you can see this, this red plastic valve, this is one-way valve. And we have a flexible layer tube, which is this one, this tube, and the rod to to hold the frame, and one thread rope to drive the system, and the three-way valve, which is this this guy here. And then we need to have some strapped elements, so we just use what we learn in class and design the elements and then print in our library com common maker, uh, maker bot, use the maker bot to print everything. So you can see the orange stretch element, uh, this is what we uh, printed. And this figure shows exactly the same thing you see on the table. And this is the reservoir and everything here I have produced just now. So uh, this is the calculator to couple the stepper model and the thread, thread rod. And this is the control system. So uh, we need to, we need to uh, connect the stepper motor to the stepper motor driver. Initially, I don't need, I don't, I don't have a stepper motor <coughs> driver. I don't, when I got everything, I found I lost this one. So I cannot come on, send the command to the step model to make it work. And this is the red board we have in the class. And for this one, 
this step mode have four step modes. So that means it have four um, speeds that you can control. So that means you have we, we have only uh, four flow rates available. And in, um, this is the code I made to uh, control <coughs> what's the flow rate I want to use. As I mentioned, we have only four flow rate, so this A, B, C, D uh, are four flow rates, so from highest to lowest. And I will only present the highest one because it, it is just fast and, and you don't have to wait uh, in the class, so it saves time for everyone. Uh, challenge, I actually I don't have much challenge in this project because it's a very simple one because I reduced the complexity uh, initially to reduce the two pound system to one pound system. And so maybe the budget will be the, the challenging thing if I have an actual budget and I can buy everything I, I, I want and then do the complex one. And second is uh, begin the, the is desire the size of stretch element, desire the size of the three printed parts. Um, because before that I, uh, I ordered the disk and this is delivered from, uh, this is uh, ordered by John and it's delivered from China and I waited for a month. Uh, however, I print this first. So when this shipped to me, I found the size too big. <laughs> so I had to change, change the uh, syringe uh, unless I have to uh, redesign everything and reprint it for a long time. Uh, I don't want to do that. So I just changed the syringe to make it suitable for my design. And the calibrating the flow rate, uh, um, calibrating flow rate is kind of tricky one because um, I have to kind of count time and then to to measure the decreased flow rate, the decreased the volume, so to calculate the flow rate. And I can also use uh, the code because in code I said at what time um, was the uh, time interval was the um, step. So I can use the time step to calculate the flow rate. So and last, I want to show a demonstration here. Okay, so so if I I take one, then it's uh, uh, now my palm is. Uh, need to review so B is almost empty now, right? Or not? I can't tell. B got a lot of fluid in it. Oh, this is empty. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I got the wrong. Uh, okay. So we can switch the reservoir because I just got the wrong sign.
And for long-term injecting, I can use uh, cycles. Okay, like I press press nine. So cycle injecting and refilling, and then it's taking water in, and the water comes from this reservoir. You can see this. <coughs> because uh, when when we set up the, the system, there will be some L in a tube, so you will see some gap. But after the second the cycle, this this L will be driven into this reservoir, and then there will be no L in the system. Now it's switch. Begin, begin injecting at the end. So you can control uh, how many cycles you want by uh, putting the memory in the code. So in realistic uh, problem, what we need is <coughs> we need to make those one-way bar uh, controlled by left view or by something because we we cannot use this one-way bar because we want to hold the pressure of the, the experiment. So, uh, for example, if we measure the permeability and we are going to use up the one tank fluid we are using the other one, so we have to switch the, pre uh, switch the valve and maintain the pressure so that the pressure uh, through the fracture will not be terminated, uh, will not be uh, influenced by you switching the system. The pump. So uh, basically, this is how my project um, setup work. So I think that's the last one injecting. Then we install. I played this in the uh, office. <laughs> <laughs> All right, great, thank you. <laughs> Questions? Um, I, I was just curious, I don't know if I, if you mentioned this on artwork, why did you specifically have to use a stable motor as opposed to maybe a regular uh, motor or a PRPC motor or something like that? What was the purpose behind the stable motor? Uh, what's the purpose of behind the stop model? Yeah. Um, because you said you did not get a stepper driver and so on, so you could just use a regular motor maybe? The step motor driver is to control uh, the, your, your motor, right? Right, no, uh, my question was, why did you not just use a regular motor of the kind that you get in your spot? Oh, right, a regular one, because uh, before that I uh, <laughs> I didn't realize that, that uh, what, what, type, what type of step motor to to purchase and I found this one is the cheapest one in the Spartan uh, uh, website. Um, uh, so that's, that's probably the reason I have only this choice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Nice. <coughs> Anything else? Questions? Nobody else is curious to know what else you did with this? Only water so far? <laughs> Did you do beer or wine? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea, you use beer. <laughs> Did the carbonation mess with it at all, or was it fine? You mean the experiment? Yeah. Oh, uh, it's, it's just shell rock. You mean the <laughs> sample? This one? Yeah. Like, if you use beer, would the carbonation mess it up at all, or would it be fine? Um, Are those bubbles? Yeah, I think <laughs> should be fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can use uh, whatever you want. That's exactly. If you get a lot of air in there. <laughs> oh, you mean for the air? You, you uh, for this one is, is very rough kind of uh, set up because right. <coughs> for even the air first to dry. You see now, if I I continue the injection and refilling process, there will be no air. Okay. Because before the class, I just set up this. Right. And some air just get into the tube, and that's why when you're injecting mm -hmm. in the first cycle, you have some air. Right. And after the first one, then you are you are fine. Yeah. And in the experiment, that you you won't get air in the uh, system. Okay. 
Nice. Ruinous. <laughs>